judging by my t-shirt, I'm sure you know what we have to do today. Welcome to Mixed Reviews. It's your boy Kevin from the Homeless Crusade. And the reason why this is called Mixed Reviews is because you got a mixed guy giving you some reviews. And today, as you can see, we will be tackling God of War. But specifically, the Valhalla update that was released not too long ago. Let's do this. So, for those of you who haven't played it yet, I'm not going to drop too many spoilers, but I will let you know what the game is about and what it's not about. So, upon me playing the game, I noticed that Valhalla has its own menu icon in the game when you update it now. Pre-warning, make sure that you have enough space to download this update because after downloading the Valhalla update, you got to update the game to version 5. I had to delete Tekken 7 just to make this work. Literally had to delete Tekken 7, but I digress. Back to the point. Once you get to the game and the game starts, you and Mamiya are on the boat and you are on this lake. Who knows why you're there, but you're on this lake. You find a shore with black sand and apparently this is where the invitation tells you to be. You get off the boat, do your thing, and in typical God of War fashion, you explore around looking for some stuff. You find a massive door that obviously is locked and in, you know, without characters, or let me actually say, um, in typical Kratos fashion, he pries the door open and finds a way to go inside. This is now Valhalla. Massive place, endless possibilities. But what I notice about the game, and for some of you who might not have ever experienced it in a God of War game before, because I've never, the game is kind of like a survival mode. So you play until a certain point, and then when you die, you end up back on the shore, like waking up from like what seems like a dream. But still really dope anyways. Um, in the game, you still have all the weapons you have from when you played the game before. So you still got the axe, so it's still about chopping enemies in half and freezing them on the way there. You still got the blades, which still set people on fire and still launches enemies into the air. And you still got the spear, so you're good. But, fun fact for you is when, when you play the game, all your items get reset. You still have all your weapons, but everything goes back to like level 1 and you've got to upgrade your everything. Stats, weapon abilities, runic abilities, light and heavy. All from like from the jump quite interesting quite fun but can be really painful like trust me not fun anyways back to playing in the game when you clear certain rooms that you end up finding um in the game when you play it you have doorways you have got to go through like they look similar to the doorways that um take you to the different realms but you end up in typical god of war fashion and style an arena based room where you've got to walk your way through this room and get out through the door but it's very um reminiscent of the rooms or like of the levels from the previous game well, i wouldn't even say the previous game but from the game before so there is an alfheim room there's a hellheim room and then when you pass through a door you get to this little arena where you beat a bad guy you are presented with chests and these chests actually give you upgrades every time you beat an enemy in a room what happens is you get an option to open either one or two chests, sometimes just one, and in the chest you get to pick what you want to pick. Sometimes it's a stats upgrade, sometimes it's a runic ability, sometimes it's just currency. But it's not the currency we used to in the game anymore. The currency now is fleeting echoes and mastery seals, and these are used to actually upgrade stats and whatever else you want to do in the game. It's actually also used to purchase things. So, no more hack solver. Not at all. But anyways, back to the game itself. Guys, I'm telling you, you want to play this mode. It is really dope. It sucks that it's kind of like a survival mode kind of thing. Whenever you die, you end up back on the shore waking up from like this bad dream. And then you got to go all the way back and do everything all over again. But without, le without dropping any spoilers at all, you need to complete every objective that you face. I've clocked about two hours so far. And I will say that they might as well have just named this game God of War Easter because there are so many Easter eggs. Like, you don't understand how many Easter eggs are in this game. There's a lot. They might as well have made the bad guy, like the bad guy at the end of the game, the Easter Bunny, because everywhere you go, there's an Easter egg. But I digress. Guys, I was you. Make that space. Free up space in your SSD or your hard drive, whichever you prefer, and get the Valhalla update. It is so worth it. What else I got? That's it. But anyways, check in my footnotes because there was so much to talk about, but I have covered everything. 
Anyways, this has been Kevin for Mixed Reviews. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been real.